Hi everyone and welcome to this video. Today, I'm sorry first of all for how I look. I promise I will look good at the end of this video, but I'm here to try a couple of products today. Um, I love Arlas Veal Primer. It's one of my uh, holy grail, something I can't live without and I've, I always purchase this so I don't ever be without. But I saw Hourglass launching the Veal setting spray but also eyeshadow primer and if you are an old subscriber or watch a couple of my other videos and still haven't subscribed you need to subscribe uh, thank you so much but I uh, love trying new primers eyeshadow primers that's something I really really like so of course I bought this one and we are going to test it today I actually also get a sample size of the foundation I do have, let me just take it out so you can see, I do have stick stick version of this foundation and I really like it, but it's a little bit too dark for me right now. I have it in shade light beige and it's a little bit too dark for me. So I got another shade. I don't even remember what shade it is. I will put the information in the picture here in the screen. I hope it will suit me. The girl in the Sephora didn't want to cl come close to me. Of course, I understand. And we couldn't try the shade properly, so I just went with a feeling but I'm going to try today I'm going I already moisturized my skin and I'm going to use all of the hourglass products that I have I also have the setting powder that I bought two weeks ago and I've been using it I love it so much and I'll use as much as possible hourglass product that I have so if you're interested how this is going to work on me then please keep on watching I want to say that I have very, very oily, oily eyelids and I'm going to start with the primer on my face because I just wanted to have some time to sit on my skin while we try the hourglass eyeshadow primer. I'm going to set one side of the eyeshadow primer, uh, one eye with powder because I always do that and the other one I'm not going to set it. I think so, I don't know. Should I do that? Maybe not. No, I'll set both sides because I always set primers with powder so if you're interested to see how it's working without powder let me know but I just want to be true to myself and use it as I always do so I really really like this uh, primer it's one of the best let's go and open this boy uh, base eye primer it says just how to use it I need my eyeshadows to be on my eyes at least for 10 hours. Does it say anything about this product? We get this spray for just directions. Squeeze a small amount. Allow to dry completely before applying eyeshadow or leave bare for natural even coverage. Okay. Interesting. Let's... Ooh. It's thick. doesn't have a coverage or pigment that covers a lot just slightly but I don't mind it feels nice creamy dries down fast I'm going to tap it so I get an even base this one almost dry down I know how much to apply, but I applied a small amount like I always do. I don't want to over go over the top and use too much primer because I have experience that then it, it gathers and it's for the oily eyelids, the risk is that it's actually going to collect. So I am going to set it a little bit and I am going to use the veal powder. Just a little bit, not too much. Just taking just a little bit of the powder. Help it dry down. I don't know how it looks. I don't have my glasses on and my mirror is a little bit far away. Let's see. I'll take this mirror. Oh, it looks uh, even. It They didn't cover anything, but it looks like it even my... It looks nice on the eyelids. 
I'm going to try the I'm going to use the palette that I bought last week. It's the Natasha Denona Safari palette. This was 20% off. I always wanted this palette. I know it's going it's limited edition. I'm coming out with a video where I use this on my eyes and create a couple of makeup looks. But I've been playing with it a lot and I really, really like like this pa palette. I usually don't wear all mattes, but I have been wearing since I bought this palette because I love it. It looks very nice. I'm just going to use maybe a shade or two. Uh, I just want to try out the primer, of course. Let's go in with this lotus shade. Let's use that. And this is better to pack. Pigment is there. The pigment grabs nice on the skin. Ooh, I like how the eyeshadow goes on. Even if I did set it with powder, it still works the same as on my e.l.f. primer that I really, really like. I usually wear... No, not e.l.f. The Wet n Wild. This one is the one that really works. And also Urban Decay. Those two are the ones that I can work with and then really keeps my shadow on for at least 10-11 hours. This is blending nice on the eyes, I have to say. I'm going to use the same brush and go to this shade here that I can't pronounce. I love this palette. I wanted this palette as the day, the day it launched, but it's a little bit too expensive, so... I never, I thought I would never buy it, but then they, it was 20% off on Sephora's website, and of course I couldn't keep my hands on it, and I love it. I'm just sad I didn't get it earlier. Better late than ever. With the same brush, I'm going to go in Voodoo. And here I have a little bit too much skin, so it skips sometimes, but... This looks messy, but I am going to fix it, promise. Going in this shade to help us blend the edges. So going back and forward to just make these shades blend and the pigment I want. So this looks very nice. I mean the pigmentation works fine. Everything works nice. The eyeshadows went on beautifully. So I am going to try the foundation now. So far I really like the eyeshadow primer. Everything works so nice. I hope this shade works on me and I hope this is going to be enough or Otherwise, I'm going to use another. I can't keep it like this anymore because... Okay, not bad shade. Mm, it smells nice. I can make this shade work. And this is full coverage. This is definitely full coverage. It's a little bit too light, but I fix it with some... Um, what it's called? With some uh, bronzer. I just want to see if the foundation is nice so I can go out and bite. I'm going to use concealer, and for the concealer, I'm going to go in in Revolution, if I can find it. Yes, I can. 06. I'm almost out. One of the best concealers. 
my cream bronzer from Larizzi. I do like the tan tool from Huda Beauty, but I can't find it right now. And I'm in a hurry, guys, so. I feel like this is blending a little bit harder than usual, than usually, but it's still blending, it just needs more time. I think it's because the foundation dries down very matte and fast, so it's drying, drying this product too, but it's, it still goes, just takes a little bit more time and more blending. I really like this foundation really like this foundation it doesn't feel like i have it on my skin though i do need another shade i don't remember what i'm going to write it down i'm going to find it i'll definitely recognize it but look at the eyeshadows nice i think i could blend these a little bit better but so i'm going to set everything and i do like to go in with another product with another powder on my um, eyes because the hourglass has that kind of like a shimmer to it so I'm going to go to with Shiseido just to set my concealer ah oh, the rain is coming again heat rain so I did set uh, on the eyes and now we're going to go with the hourglass setting powder i love our glass setting powder i really like it i thought that i won't like it because it has like a shimmer i'm not into that kind of uh, setting sprays but this evens out everything and it doesn't look shimmery even if you use too much like i've done a couple of days but i really like how this is working so it's we are also going to use our glass bronzer this is the ambient nude bronzer light it's something i really like when i hit pan i'm definitely buying another one of these just warm up the skin a little bit it works very nice then i have the older version of this palette this is the ambient dim light electra l and strobe electronic strobe or something like this palette that's that i bought last year and i'm going to use the blush just using and then i'm going to use this as highlighter too today. I'm going to use this one as the highlighter. You can hear my sons playing Nintendo. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to finish the eyes and everything and I'll be right back. So guys, I'm actually going to set my makeup before I um, uh, before I do my mascara because I always get mascara under my lower lash line and I smudge it when I set it. This foundation is um, very nice. It's definitely not for someone that has dry skin or want that nice glowy look because it's matte. But let's go more matte and use this primer. Uh, setting spray, I mean. I just love how this. This is expensive, guys. and I do get oily during the day, so I hope this will work. Shake it. And let's go. Oof, it just spit on me. Mm. The first spray was like, but look at the mist. Nice. It's really a nice mist, except the first spit here. <sighs> so 
so far everything looks good i like it my nose don't look funny touched my nose a little bit before I set my face so um, yeah let's go with mascara I'm not going to go and have any lashes on because we're going to have like a barbecue in the, gar in the garden today and it's raining so we are going to set this to the test And that's the makeup look. Now I need to do some more housework before I fix my hair. So you need to be, see this a little bit just for a couple of more minutes. But it's now 10.53 and I'm going to have this on as long as, it, long as I can. And we are going to put this to the test. Uh, I really love Veal products and I really, I really hope that this works. Really hope. Uh, I'm excited. I love our glass. I have high hopes. I hope I don't get disappointed. Uh, I'm the most excited about the eyeshadow primer though. That's the thing I really want to work. The setting spray. I do like setting sprays. I this is expensive though. I it hope I hope it works. But the most thing, uh, the thing I'm I'm most excited about the eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to go with my day, and I need to get ready and do some other last things before my sister and her family arrives and my mom we are going to have a barbecue outside in the garden so we are not so close to each other but yeah we're going to put this to the test see you soon bye hi family welcome back let's take off the glasses and see what time it is it's actually it's almost 10 past 6 p.m and i'll be having this foundation or this makeup and eyeshadow primer a setting spray on for could be eight hours, something like that. No, seven hours, something like that. And let's see how it looks. I didn't do any touch-ups. I didn't do anything. Eyeshadow primer looks amazing. It didn't even start creasing. Everything is as pigmented as it, as it was. We're liking setting spray, the same. I don't look, I do look a little bit healthier shine and feels good. But the foundation, I don't like the foundation. It looks very weird and dry here uh, I can see it sitting on my face and collecting certain parts I did a hamburger two hamburgers today so I was a little bit messy but still this foundation looks like it's sitting on top of my skin right now and not into didn't sink into my skin like other foundations that I like a little bit more so no for the foundation I don't like it uh, but yes for the eyeshadow primer yes for the setting spray that's amazing eyeshadow primer looks works so so good everything is pigmented and it didn't even smudge it didn't start even moving around I really like it and it was very windy it was very cold outside uh, very bad weather so this is really good really good eyeshadow primer I like it a lot setting spray also very very nice I really enjoy it I'll uh, continue trying it out a little bit more with other foundation foundation just to see if it's working better than this um, for example invisible L'Oreal or other uh, or other setting sprays that I've used the one that I really really like it's the um, there is another, I can't remember the brand right now, but another setting spray that I really like that costs around $35. I think it's very expensive and I don't purchase it. This one is $50 plus <laughs> dollars and very expensive. I want to see if it really works how it says it should. And so far it's working very nice. I really enjoy the eyeshadow primer and the setting spray, but like I said, I do not like the foundation. I do like the cons uh, primer. I reviewed this long time ago. I've been using it for now years and I know it works. But the foundation, it doesn't like look nice. It looks heavy, cakey. Nope. Foundation, big no. So I'm going to stay out of the foundation. I'm not going to use it or I'm not going to buy the full size. I'm very glad that I got the sample size and didn't buy the full 
um, packaging even if the shade is too too it's not the right shade for me right now i actually do try foundations that i really enjoy but the shades are not matching me and i then get then go out and buy the right buy another shade that it's a little bit more uh, my skin tone but this one i will stay out because um, i don't like it but i do have that natural nice shine i'm not mad uh, i really enjoy the products so yes for the primer eyeshadow primer and yes for the setting spray i do also enjoy the powder i've been using it for uh, two weeks now and i really really enjoy the powder uh, i know i like that so that was everything please let me know down below if you tried any of these hourglass products and what do you think about them guys thank you so much for watching i hope to see my next video i love you all bye and don't forget to subscribe